Welcome, welcome, ladies and gents, back to the Don't Call Me White Girl podcast. I have a super special, amazing guest on site today, okay? Right? The one and only, Marco. Give it up for Marco! Woo! That's funny, Marco. How you doing, man? No This is Marco. We're dropping the funny. You dropped the funny? Yeah. Like niggas dropped the little? I'm excited, Marco. You know, we came a long way, me and you. Remember when we used to? You still going to drag down? You know people going to believe you. You want a secret? You want to keep it low? You're good at what you do. You want abortion? Like, Big uh, deal? Ooh. I'm excited, Marco. I did your show. It was amazing. Right? No. One of the best guests of the year? No. Didn't you enjoy yourself? No. <laughs> no. I really want to get into you, Marco, because I feel like people play with you too much, and they don't know your story, where you come from. Mm -hmm. You're from Kansas, right? What? How long you been being funny, Marco? Yeah, we gone. The interview over. Are you going to keep playing? This is for real. You say Kansas. What, what is it? What? what? Is it? Is, what is where are you from? Houston? Where's this nigga from, for real? Don't look at my It's house. Missouri. Kansas is in Missouri. No, it's not. Kansas is all state. Missouri is different. Kansas City, Missouri. I know and a Kansas. lot. Of Kansas, Kansas, uh -huh. you, Dorothy, and one other nigga that raps. Tech Nine. Tech Nine, I like Tech Nine. Say one song from him. Say you lying already. It's the freestyle that I like. I can't really repeat it verbatim. Allegedly. Yeah, for real though. How long you been being funny, Mark? W's in the chat, y'all. How long you been doing this? What? <laughs> being funny, being funny, Mark. I want to call getting a name like eight years. It's been eight years, really? Like eight or probably nine. And you started where? On Instagram? Facebook. Facebook. Mm -hmm. You first start making videos. Are they prank videos? Are they skits? What are they? Reaction videos. Reaction videos. Do so you watch the shit and you reacting to them? Mm, nah. Just to get people reaction in public. Oh, like fucking with people? Mm. Nah, just to see like what would they... Catch a nosy people reaction. Like uh -huh. you. You a nosy motherfucker. So if something go down, you're going to probably pull your phone out and be like, what the fuck going on? Instead of walking away. That is exactly the opposite of what I would do. You lying. I walk away and watch from a distance. I'm you still watching? You. you get shot like that. What you do when you see a car wreck? You look back or you just keep going? I look, a glance. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm more of like if the ambulance ride through fast, I'll get behind the ambulance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To and see where light. they going? No, to get through the lights. Mm -hmm. Like that. He look like you'll follow him and pull up and see what's going on. Marco, this is my interview, and this is a serious one. Okay. All right. All right. So, who hurt you? Which time? When you were little. And it's crazy. I think I was born hurt. Okay, first time you went viral. Damn, that's a good question. You keep it up, I'm going to sit next to you. No, nah, I'm really, no, nah, I'm good. Uh, first time I went viral, uh, damn, what was that? It was a video, damn, it, it's been so many, it's hard to say. But I, it was definitely when, so many. I think, uh, when it was like, people thought it was real, Victoria's Secret video, where I went in there and I had my girl take my clothes off because I was cheating on her. So basically, and then she took my clothes off in public in Victoria's Secret. Nude or down to your drawers? Their drawers. Boxers, briefs? Yeah, boxer briefs. Boxer briefs. Yeah. No ethicas? Nah, I don't wear those. You know what I heard about ethicas? Sidebar. Hmm? That they make you Don't stink. fuck up your brand deal. Boy, Stop you it. That's, look, let's get off of that. Yeah. <laughs> I love ethicas. No, they, they right. good, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you go viral. You know you're going viral. Or it's just like, I'm going to try this out. Mm, I'm going to try it. I wanted to do it because I want it. Like, it make me laugh. I did what was I wanted to see on the internet. So once you go viral, you think, okay, I can make some money off of this shit. No, I wasn't thinking about money. I just keep doing it again and again. Just for fun? No, because I wanted it. I did what I like. I watched. I did what I like to watch. Okay. But well, what yeah. did you do for a living at the time? Like you got before? a fly on your head. What did you do for a living, though? All right. That shit was bothering me. Uh, I worked at Papa's Water the Company. I did a lot of fucking jobs. Okay. When did yeah. you stop selling drugs? Ooh, so you the police. Stop now. Come on, really? No, nah, I never sold drugs. I tried to sell drugs one time, but I, I didn't remember the instructions. I didn't know what an eighth go for. It's instructions to sell drugs. Yeah, so. it takes a little work. And the first time I tried to sell drugs, uh, I called my brother, and I was like, how much an eighth go for? And then nigga was like, who you on the phone with? And he left because he thought I was being weird. Right. 
Why you being weird to me? When do you go from going, like doing it for just fun and fucking around because you want to watch it to, okay, this is what I do for a living and I don't work anymore? It ain't hit me yet. So you still work? You got a shift to pull in today? No, nah, I mean, it's still just like, it's like I, I still have fun with what I do, so it's still, it's, it's work once you start doing, being on time and got to do this and mm -hmm. requirements and meeting people's standards and not doing what you want to do. That's when it become work. Do you feel like people take you serious as a comedian? Being I'm not, I wouldn't say I was a comedian. I never really, I just, I don't be out nowhere for nobody to take me serious. I be in the house a lot. What do you call yourself, an entertainer? Porn star. <laughs> yeah, right. I got some video. You got OnlyFans? No, I don't. Do you? You just sell clips. Yeah. That's what I do. I like my close friends up. You do? Put my cash up. You know what I mean? All right, besides the point, uh, what would you ask me? I asked you, do you feel like people take you serious in this game? Because there's a difference. This is how I look at it. But when you say people, like who is people? Like like friends or like when you do business or like business it could be probably. business not, friends yeah, serious. like especially when you get on the phone and you had conversations with them and you actually meet them and you talk to them and not just be a talent to them right so when you make a voice for yourself yeah you turn this yeah. thing into a real business i mean it's a profitable thing because you eating right. nigga. smell like money you do too i called you on facetime with stars in the ceiling yeah that's not what you think were you pay <laughs> Oh, God. What the fuck was that in the ceiling? Then, W's right? in the chat right now, y'all. What was in the ceiling? Those are stars, right? Mm, lightning bulbs. You getting money, Marco. I mean, everybody get money. I was getting money at Popeye's. Was you? Yeah. How much did you make? $800 two weeks. Right. That was mm. it. Two pair of Jordans was good for me. Shout out to everybody that works at Popeye's. There's no yeah. shade. Why you say that? For all the new creators. It is shade. Anytime somebody say no shade, it's shade. Every time I say no shade, it's shade. But I know. typically, no shade means no shade. Yeah. It does. Tree talk. So, what's next for you? Uh, uh, My FM entertainment, putting people on in movies and getting my movies out and being able to share my platform with people. What kind of movies you want to make? Um, it's a lot, like from funny movies, scary movies. I got a dope ass scary movie written up. Do you? In the tux. Who yeah. wrote it? Me. You write? No, I just thought of it. In my head, I wrote it. Okay. Yeah. But you really get a little nigga to write it and then you put your name on it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. You stupid. What advice do you give to, because that's what I get a lot. I know you probably get something similar. People come yeah. to you, they send you messages and they're like, look, I want to be like you. I got three videos made. I got 400 views on all three. I need you to post them shits for me right now. What advice do I go oh, like you saying do I do it or what advice do I give them? Because mm -hmm. advice and asking somebody ask you to do something is two different things. Well, usually it comes together, it's a package. That's mm -hmm. how I get it. People no, come. No, because if somebody asks you for advice, that's one thing. If somebody tell you to do something, that's another thing. Nigga, I know the difference between the things. I'm mm -hmm. asking you, what do you say to So what are you asking me? Because you said what advice and then you said like Both what? of them. Damn. Mm -hmm. Uh no, nah, I really just don't post people stuff. I tell them it's more than just somebody posting you. You got to actually build traction yourself. And then when somebody give you a booth, like a boost, it's like a boost. So it's like, do you have enough for yourself to get it? That's right. just like now 50 Cent could post somebody today. That don't mean it's going to change their life. Exactly. You got to have the, it's I call it a resume. Mm -hmm. You got to have work done at least. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. then we could do something together. And then it'll make sense where people come to you and be like, damn. I feel this like shit. this is my experience. I feel like a lot of people see what you have going on right now. Right. And they might have caught that one viral video that they love and that's what made them like you. But mm -hmm. they want exactly what you have. And they feel like almost like, yo, if you do give me that one post or if you do just respond to me, life. give me Yeah, you could change it for yeah, me. It so don't nigga work like do that. it for me like you did it for somebody it's like somebody did for you. It don't work. A like lot that. of people feel like like for me, a lot of people feel like I just got on. They like think I got a viral video and they turned it to a show. You know what right. I mean? You've been going live for a long time. Nigga. It used to be you and your mama on the live. Oh like my God, you know me. Yeah, I was in there with three people. You were the only one with a blue check and followers and you yeah. used to talk to me. Yeah. And I remember that. Mm, yeah. you for that. That's back when you was fucking. Remember? Yeah. What? <laughs> you remember? You used to call me baby mom. Yeah. No, all jokes aside, Marco used to, you would add me to the live. It would boost my shit. I would get a yeah. couple, couple followers after those react? lives. Excuse me? Remember you on React? The greasy one? Yeah. Actually, where my phone at? Am I at? That's somebody that I would consider that you put on. 
Yeah, yeah, that's my boy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know him in real life? I actually got to know him through uh Can I have a tissue somebody? Yeah, I got uh I got the I'm just met him through online and I see that he like chasing his dream, so I'm just wanna Yes, is that a book where he looked like that? Uh I really feel like that's him. That's what he looked like. Yeah, he really, he really. He's be a that. confident motherfucker. Cause to put that phone in your face like that, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> it's crazy. And then to hit live is. But wild. when the money comes, shit come different. So look, he only answer for you. That nigga is balling. Yeah, Thank he, you. he getting there. Yeah, he doing something. He's a comedian, right? Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. he's funny. Yeah, he is. Uh huh. Looking, I, right. I do remember that live. <laughs> so I do. We went viral with that. Yeah. Yeah, cause you were trying to hook us up. Yeah, I still think it's a chance. He told me I was a four. <laughs> he, he got said. standards too, right? He said he didn't like my eyebrows. Yeah. Or lack thereof. Yeah. <laughs> but you them. went and fixed it though, right? What? No, I'm saying you fuck with him though, right? I said you fuck with him. <laughs> you said something about my eyebrows. No, I didn't. I was just sending him back. I'm just a wingman. What was it that attracted you to me? Mm, Yo, voice. You sound like my grandma. It's a little raspy, you know, and they drink 40s and shit all night. It's sexy too. That yeah, is so mixed up together. I don't even know how to it say is. it. You see, I ain't got a deep voice. Some people are like, oh, you got like a girl voice and shit. So your voice deeper than mine. So I'm like, that shit You dope. do have a voice like a bitch, but I don't yeah. think that it's, I wouldn't call I it I didn't right. pick it though. Right. Yeah. And you can't control you, it. You got one like a nigga, so we good. I know we just alike. Yeah. No, you would come <laughs> to my live and you would talk to me. And I used to be hyper. I used to be like, damn, because a lot of people don't do that shit for you when you first, you know, right. and they don't know who you are. But I, what, what's the first video you saw of mine to find me online? No, I just damn. It was just a lot of shit you done. So I wouldn't you say you don't know me. Nah, I don't know you, but I seen your work. So you're not a fan of my work. I fuck with your work. Which video? With which one was it? That it made was you your like personality. Me? It's not about the video. It's just about how you are, and I just like see something in you. That's what it's about. Yeah, it's not a specific video. Oh, it's just everything about me. Yeah, Marco. Yeah, besides that, fuck with me. I don't fuck with you. They still heard you. I gained a little weight. That's the yeah, thing. That's it's when you chubby, stopped being in me. You used to give me hearts and hearts, and they slowed down. Now they're non-existent. You can lose it, though. Can I? Yeah. How? BBL. <laughs> exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> little Duval will pay for it. No, this nigga. What is up with you and Duval? What? <laughs> you, and Duval. you and Duval. I'm saying he paid for... Remember? You said that. You get lit up, right? <laughs> you like to get dusted. Anyway, shout out to Lil Duval. Um, how does it feel working with all these big names, people that you like came up watching, like Duval? Mm, just motivation. Yeah. To keep going. Yeah. Who's your favorite comedian? Mm, I wouldn't have a favorite. I say like top five. Somebody that I can relate to. I use that word. Dave Chappelle. Stop correcting my shit when I ask you shit, please. Cut hey. that out, Dre. Uh, Dave Chappelle and Die Line, Die Line, Die Line. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, he's the only David Chappelle because he's my Dave favorite. Dave Chappelle, uh, Mike Epps, Kevin Hart. Uh, it's a few others. I don't be knowing a lot of people's names. I just be so into the work. I forget to ask the name. Okay, the work. Favorite female out right now. Uh, as in what? As in videos and funny. And mm. Khalifa, Maya. Who the fuck is that? She a porno star. No, funny, Marco. Ah, uh, she do some funny shit. No. Marco, who's your favorite comedian right now? Female. Uh, damn. It's hard to think. It's really not that hard. It ain't a lot of them out there. <laughs> it, it's really not a lot. Yeah. It's not a lot out. Yeah. That's the crazy thing. It's a little bit of right. us. And how many do you like and work with who you have their phone number and you DM them things for years? Some oh, of give them. Give me time. It's so hard. You want to come back to it? Yeah, let's do that. We Towards the end of the episode. It. It's so hard. It. It's not many. They're not even close. Like, yeah. I don't even be close to them. I have a huge question. Everybody wants to know, because of course I share with my viewers. I'm going to have Mark on the show. What do y'all mm. want me to ask him? First question everybody asks. I feel like you keep looking at my lace. You keep looking at nah, my your lace. lace is my no, nah, I'm not. I'm looking at your icon. Your lace is good. It so looks like your real hair. What's the issue? What are you looking at? No, you. You're beautiful. You're looking up here. I'm not. Look here. No, that's your insecurity. I ain't look at your twisties. What? These are dreads. What? They they didn't even move. That's the great. Do it they again. Did. Them niggas don't shake at all. <laughs> they do. Whatever. No shade. I like them. I prefer your waves, but whatever. Um, but the question everybody wanted me to ask you was, are the pranks real? Like those those pranks where you jumping up on people and they jumping out of shit, are I they real? That. 
whatever you do, when nah, you it's, do it. It's, yeah, majority of them are real. And then there's some that if I see potential on somebody and if I can help they put spotlight on them and and the actor's right, I'll go with it. Right. It's all entertainment. You can watch Jason and get scared. You know it's fake. So mm -hmm. entertainment is entertainment. Mm -hmm. Well, you're definitely entertaining. I think I really, my favorite videos, you don't do these a lot much anymore. Mm -hmm. Remember we used to walk up and rap the rap lyrics to niggas? Yeah. Like old people that had bad hearts, you would sneak up on them and they'd Why go, you do oh! all that? <laughs> and then everybody Why you say that, but they had good hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody ever died? <laughs> no death? Nah, everybody good. Has anybody ever whooped your ass? Mm -mm, nah. Have you ever been gripped up? Nigga nah, shake it's just, good. I do that. people that got shit to live for. I wouldn't try you if I didn't know you because you'll probably kill somebody. You're smart. Cause yeah, I, don't yeah. play, I could not imagine a nigga walking up to me playing with me like that in Walmart. You know what you used to do? Nah, it's conversation. You know what you used to do? You would walk up and put your shit in somebody's cart. Yeah, that's it. But that but, would blow listen, my mind. Listen, that's not your cart or the food I ain't paid for yet. So who's wrong? Mario, you used to walk up and put your items in somebody's cart and turn it's around It's not and mine shop. yet. Yeah, it's not mine yet or they ain't theirs. It's still not that. It's cart. hard to believe nobody hit you. Nah, ain't nobody hit me. You roll kind of deep. Nah, remember I when just... we did pranks at Piedmont Park? No. What? You don't remember? Okay, we did break speed in my park. I did horrible at it. And you stopped speaking to me, remember? No, I didn't. Oh, all y'all, your whole little group saying, of you niggas, y'all turned around. Oh, yeah, yeah, I went to go get the First work First y'all all were around me, and y'all were like, yo, we're going to do this. It's the prank. But I'm like, all right, we like, one, two, three, funny Marco. Yeah. We go, we start doing shit, right? I do horrible at we it. We didn't do all that funny I'm Marco real shit. shaky, like, oh, excuse me, do you know? Da, da. First person uh -huh. cussed me out. I'm scared to death, right? Uh -huh. And then y'all were like, <laughs> And y'all literally all turned around in unison and walked away from me and left me in Piedmont Park alone. What? You remember? That did not have happened. No, those, you were good at telling those, stories. A couple of these niggas were there. They actually said it. Like, remember Piedmont Park? This is why she's single, y'all, because she is sit here and put you in some shit. I I'm see. not good at pranks. I think that's the first thing I feel that I'm not good at because I can it wasn't sing rap. Prank. It was just supposed to be a reaction to see what they do. And you got scared because she had a gun and you didn't. Her exact words was, I am 73 years old. People have been being no, raped in this park. No, she's 74. I have a pistol. Get the fuck out of my face. Right. Period. Yeah. So ah. that's You got to say, ah. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why are we all scared? Uh -huh. You know I wasn't I mean? scared. I talked to her. She wasn't going to kill us over a bed. How do you figure, though? Like, how do you know if they're going to kill you or not? I mean, that would be a crazy highlight story of the news, right? Are you ever going to be too famous to do this? Because sometimes when you do it, don't they turn around and say, hey, Marco? No, nah, it's just certain people. It's energy. Nigga, yeah. when we were in Piedmont Park, I heard people like, that's don't call me white girl, Marco. Yeah, but we didn't go to them. Right, because <laughs> they knew already. Exactly. So is there ever a point where you think you can't do it? Your face is that famous, then what? Nah, I was just makeup and stuff. I got it. That's what I was going to say. That's my next thing. You need to get like the face. Mm -hmm. What's the word, Dre? Parentheses. Prosthetic. Uh -huh. You need to get face prosthetics. You could be a whole white man. You can yeah. walk up and be Bob Saget. I got a lot of ideas for you. Uh -huh. I got your shit already mapped out. And I think you manager. should rap. You want me to manage you? Yes. I will manage you for sure. I want to eat a lot too. Uh, what did you get like? What was it, like 60-40? You 40, me 60. It don't matter. I was Whatever. Work. I'll get yeah. you booked. Yeah, let's do it. You need to come up the East Coast more, too. We like you up there. Oh, yeah. Philly. Philly. Yeah. Philadelphia. Yeah, Meek Mill said come out there. Meek told you to come? Yeah. You are lying. He's not friendly. He didn't tell you that. He did. Does he like your stuff and comment on it? Yeah, we actually cool. No way. He would never like your kind of like or comment. So he's yeah. not like that. He's he just don't like, like women content, like comedians. Not, not No shade to nobody. He don't anymore. show me no love. Oh, you're a comedian? I used to pray for times like this to rhyme like this. <laughs> you know what I mean? You remind me of like Wendy Williams. You are Not so the look, shady. the energy. You are wow. shady. I don't even talk about gossip. How I remind you of Wendy? Uh, because you're honest. Thank you. See? I appreciate that. You slick. Yeah. Slick and quick. <laughs> are you in a relationship or are you single? Mm, depends on who asked that. <laughs> Do they throw you a lot of pussy? They uh, throw me a lot of pussy. Who, girls do? What? Ooh, what's the baddest and all that. The baddest bitch I ever bagged? Yeah. Probably Lizzo. Yeah, I like her too. Yeah. It's like the biggest name that I ever came. Lizzo. Try to fuck with me. I will eat Lizzo. Are you in a relationship? Did you say how you would eat her? Yeah, that too. You did say that. Yeah, I fuck with Lizzo. You play too much. No, I'm serious. Are you single? I'm with SZA. Are you single? I'm in a relationship with SZA. I'm really telling you the truth. Marco. All right. It came out first on your podcast. I don't believe it. Why? 
Show me a recent calls with her name in it. I don't have to do it. that. That's messy. I already fucked up. You had to do it, though. Nah, for me to believe it. Seriously, are you in a relationship? I fuck with SZA. R- bring it back to this. Anytime this nigga jumps around these questions, you remind me to come back, Dre. Because clearly this is a tough one. I'm dead ass. I fuck with her. My next question is. Well, we not was, in a relationship, but I really like her. Shut up. My next question is, do you feel like it's hard to like gauge now? Because that's what I'm experiencing. Mm. Who really like you and fuck with you or who just trying to get a repost? Nah. You get to. I mean, it's just really if you know yourself well and what you've been around. Like, I'm been an energy type of person. Yeah. So uh, I can have a week with somebody and I can see what they on. A week? Yeah. It takes me an hour. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. What you do to them? you now? Did you have sex with them or something? No, what? Oh, I don't know. I'm just asking. It takes me an hour to figure out what's up with a nigga for real. Mm-hmm. I can smell it on them. You can't? these niggas eat ass for a repost. So why are you single? You keep, you, why do <laughs> you assume that I'm single, that I am single by choice? Well, let's get you a relationship. We should start you a dating show. We should not. And because I, I tried it. that before with you, and you brung up that greasy face man who said I was a fucking four. No, we talking about like people actually like trying, like coming up there, and then it's a big house, like flavor of love. No, it could be white girl love. No, no, but we can. You give me, and I can, can host it. No, I want. We could find somebody. No, we need somebody with nigga. good credit. I want a baller with bad credit. I want somebody to fuck some paper up on me. You know what I mean? That credit. You don't need credit. You see a watch? I need one. No, credit. You need a car. I don't want no credit, nigga. I want some money. You know what I mean? Cash, nigga. Okay, let's get focused. So, Uh um, even when you say about bringing the new people and you could tell automatically, did you lose old friends from the past or family members? People start acting funny when you came up? Mm. I say I'm with my people now that Mm. I started with. So, I never really have friends. I'm a gamer. I play games. I'm, Are you really a gamer? Yeah, I play games. So you're introverted. What does that mean? Introverted, like you to yourself, kind of stay to yourself in the house, kind of guy. Yeah, um, yeah, I be at the house a lot. I didn't like parties. I don't like parties and nothing. I don't go to clubs. Did niggas know you in Kansas before you start making Kansas videos? City? Kansas City, nigga, yeah. what the fuck? Is it a difference? I'm fucking that up. Excuse me. I'm sorry. They Cut gonna, that out. They gonna hate you. Did God? Did niggas know you in Kansas City? <laughs> yeah, they did. They know me. Like this. So were you pretty popular pre video? I was known. It's just a small town, so I was known. But I still didn't do much for it. I just play. I really played the game. That's what I do. You know what I struggle with a little bit. Mm-hmm. I always wonder how old are you, because you give me young old nigga together. Yeah, Michael Blackson said I can be from twenty six to thirty nine. You a young nigga with an older vibe. Right. Yeah. Face whatever. You really how old like, are you? Uh, what did I say? Is that a, too personal? To no, ask? it's not. Because I would you hate for motherfucker to ask me my age. Hey, dude, how old are you? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, I'm God, 32. how old are you? Oh. Ish. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just turned 29. Okay. Yeah. So what are you, a 90s baby? That's yeah. what it is. You yeah. fucked up. A lot of the 90s babies are like, mm. you know what I mean? And you 63? Slow. Babies? No. Oh. What? No, fuck I'm saying, you, you. I'm an 80s baby. All right under me. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's Stop. the energy. Stop. So we're getting back to the interview. We've been back to the interview, but you need to stop. Okay. All right. You can cut that out. Um, you don't tell me what to tell him to cut out. Okay. Cut that out. Dre. Can y'all zoom in on her face? <laughs> Either way. No, they say the beautiful smile. Whatever that laugh and they did that. I don't like that. Quiet on set. Um... Either way, so you don't feel like you lost any friends. You don't feel like, because I feel like these my friends dropping day by day. Every day I lose a different one. Lose another, lose another. I don't give a fuck. Fuck them. <laughs> I pray to God. You say that over again. I think that's like a simple. Say do it over. I pray. Don't you tell me what to do. I'm oh, sorry. Fuck them. I, <laughs> I prayed to God and I said, God, remove everybody <laughs> around me. This is serious what I said to uh-huh. Jesus. Remove everybody around me that's not supposed to be around me. On this journey, I'm mm. going to the top. Right. Losing friends day by day. You almost cut my mother off. You did? What? Where's she at now? She funny acting. But that's your mama. Where's she supposed to be? That's how it's going to be with mamas. That's how it is. That's how you feel? Yeah, it's mamas. What does that mean? I mean, you came out of her womb, so she feel like you owe her something. That's that shit. I just talked about that the other week. In the black community, we automatically supposed to take care of our moms and our dads, even if they didn't take care of us. If my mother don't act like a mother, why do I have to pay her? But what's the definition of acting like a mama? They can go far. Taking care of you, nurturing you, supporting you, loving you, mm-hmm. being kind to you, giving you a nice 
um, something to start off with, right? Mm -hmm. If your mom whoops your ass and, and treats that's, you like that's shit. That's a sign of love where we from. See? That's where people get confused. Nah, at. it's really on how you grew up. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I say, what's your definition of love? Did you get your ass whooped? Mm, I fought back, so it was like. I've never gotten a beating. I didn't get beaten, but we just got, we tussled a little bit. You fought back seriously. You were no, serious not like that. that. It was you grab the belt and then she swing another one. You like, oh, you got me. You was one of them grab the belt ass yeah. niggas and then block your joint. Yeah, or you did it at the same time. Yeah, and then never she caught the police. No, it reminds me of slavery. I never got beat <laughs> with a belt. I never got hit. I would get put on punishment. Mm -hmm. And I watched a lot of them. my cousins get their asses whooped. Ninety percent of my enemies, I just lie on them. Say what? I said I just be. I just, I feel you. 90% of your interviews, you just lie on them. Mm -hmm. I will wrap this shit up right now. No, I'm actually being honest right now. That's what I'm saying. This, this is a saying. serious interview. I've been dying I'm serious. to interview I'm, you. I'm being dead ass with you. Stop fucking around. So were you touched as a kid? And what, like? Like, were you ever molested? <laughs> <laughs> what made you funny? A lot of funny is built on pain. Where's your pain from? <laughs> <laughs> you guys over her face when she said it. What is wrong with it? You should. You really a good ass actor. I can see you being like a. Uh, I'm about to answer your question, but you could be like. I'm an actress. Yeah, you could be like the front desk, the asshole. And you're like, what do you want? Who like, raised you, mom, name? dad? <clears throat> the hood. Are you from the hood, Kansas City? Yeah. Are you from the hood of but Kansas no, City? I've never been molested, and I, I started masturbating when I was probably like what, eighteen. Eighteen, you started masturbating. Yeah. Well, how old were you when you lost your virginity? 21. You joking, right? Now. I, I'm being serious. You lost your virginity at 21. So, yeah. right now, what you got? Like two bodies? Mm, yep. Yeah. I yeah. couldn't even imagine. You play so much, I couldn't even imagine fucking you. Yeah. That's like, do you stop joking? Or are you fucking and joking? Pain. Or is the fucking a joke? <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Then I did not. Then I nigga. <laughs> you did? Knee slapper. No, seriously. All <laughs> seriousness. Mm -hmm. Let's try it again. Are you in a relationship with a woman, human? No, I told you I like SZA, but no. Not. Have you ever dated a celebrity? What's a celebrity to you? Somebody, somebody that's known. The... I dated somebody that was known. I don't know if she would say herself as a celebrity. How did that work out? It was good. I learned a lot. She learned a lot. Okay. You ever broke mm -hmm. up? Uh, Yeah, we broke up. We didn't work out, but we still cool. Okay. Why yeah. did you break up? What was it? Uh, Just... Infidelity? No, no. Nah, nah, I was just... Uh, she from Chicago, so she was giving me, like, you know what I'm saying? She was putting me on game, and I wasn't really catching on to certain stuff. Is she from 63rd, like a street bitch, gangster bitch? Uh, I don't know. She from, she a gangster bitch. I don't think she from 63rd. You like gangster bitches, don't you? Uh, used to it. You like I try to get away from it, because I be beating on people. Sound like somebody I'm next to. Right, exactly. I was going to ask you that, like, you like gangster bitches, like the type that'll punch you in the face. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then I'll call the police. You wouldn't call the police on her. Have you ever called the police on Are you supposed to fight her? back? Have you ever called the police on a girlfriend? Nah, I will. You will? Yeah. Sit there and watch her go to jail. Yeah, let me note to self. Yeah, and Leave go visit you her. you the fuck alone. Are you <laughs> a cheater? Nah, I have cheated. Are you a cheater? Nah. But I cheated, so do that make me a cheater? Well, like me. Like, okay, I've been in some relationships. Mm. I've cheated on everybody I've ever been with. Ever. That's nice to know. I hope they're watching this. I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius is a cheater. Right. So do you fuck cheat or you talk cheat? I'm a talk cheater. Oh, Have I fuck? fuck cheated? Yes. But you know you can't fuck two dicks at the same time because you'll get trigger modus. What's that? Oh. Or BV. Oh, I don't know what that it's is. It's a long story. A I long, know. smelly story. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> let's say that for another episode. Everybody had a little BV. You know what I mean? I'm a real nigga. I had BV before. Yeah. I'm grown. You grown. I heard a BC, like headache pain. How many STDs have you had? Uh, SCD. You have any now? No. <laughs> Why are you so damn funny? I'm just curious. <sighs> nah, I, I had an incident with a girl where she said she had a bacteria infection. Yeah. And I didn't know what that meant at the time, so I thought I had something. Let me explain it to you. I know what it is now, but oh, I Oh, you never, don't know. You don't know. That's when what, you have sex with Debbie on Monday, raw. No, nah, that's not. It's, no, that's, and then you hit Shaquita right after not, without not, washing. Those two kitty cats see, don't see, mix well. It could be that. And you give and one of them BV. Too. It's other shit too. No, could, that's what it is. It's, it's from germs. It's from no, that's germ, the any bullshit they say after you, you can, get no, it. No, 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 because look, this is, you can use the same damn rag two times in a row and that can give you that too. True, but exactly. that's, that's this is what happens. It, it's possible to come from the man once you or the get, woman. Once Debbie calls you a BV, what the fuck, Marco? I got BV. Then what you is say. That though? That's not, is that the bacteria? Oh. 
shut up. Once okay. Debbie calls you with BV, uh -huh. and she's like, Marco, what the fuck? You gave me something, nigga. And then you say back, girl, you could have changed your soap. Now you confusing her. She Googling shit. She see that. Now she all thrown off the whole time. You fucking cheating on her. I know your little game. That's not how it happened with everybody. That's Philly shit, ain't it? You have children? I got one. You got a baby. This one, then you're going to say some fucked up shit after you. No, I'm not. Okay. Is it a girl boy? You'll be like, yeah. And then you be like, well, guess what, nigga? Don't so act like you know my shit. Okay. Is it a girl boy? It's a girl. Oh, that's so sweet. How old is she? <laughs> How old is she? She nine. Is she? Yeah. You got a big girl then. Yeah. It's rough when you're dad of a girl now. It's scary, right? Mm, not not for real. She's my like, daughter has titties. <laughs> You wish. <laughs> no, she is. She like girls. I'm with it. She like girls already? Yeah. But she play basketball and shit? No, she don't. She a girly dyke. Like, she still dress up and shit. You're lying, Marco. Oh, God. She too little to like anybody at night. Oh, she like girls. I'm happy, too. Get her girlfriend ready right I, now. I, I fucking, I'm about to walk out. I'm going to walk out soon. Yeah. Did you ever watch my podcast? Have you ever watched this podcast? Yeah, I watch it. Okay, well, then you know that we have a segment on this podcast called The Dark Side of the DM. Okay. Okay, that's where you go into your messenger box and one of your many social <laughs> forums and you share with us on the show the uh -huh. worst DM you got this week or ever. Are you ready? Are you prepared? I already got it in my head. I don't got to do that. Okay, let's go. Hit the music. He edits it in. Just talk. Oh, I was about to say, I was waiting on it. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could hear it. <laughs> okay. Ta -da -ta 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 -da 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 ta -da 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 boom, boom. Keep going. <laughs> boom, boom. Okay. Nah, but a girl, she had said, she was just like, you kind of cute, but you medium ugly. Then you cute. Then you kind of fine. You all right, but I'll fuck with you. And I was like, what? It just kind of like had me happy down. I was like, that shit it really was up and down. Up. I didn't ask yeah. you the most common DM. No, that I said, was not the common. No, I didn't say your most repeated thing you get in the DM. I said your dark side of you. That DM. was the dark side to me. Oh, okay. Did that you was. respond? I posted it. And then people was laughing, and then she was just like, like, I posted it. And she, you post TikToks all the time. Are you posting your favorite TikToks, or are you posting promotional TikToks? Mm, I don't. I barely do promotion. I know. I saw it. Yeah, That's I don't how really... you getting money. No, I just never. Once a month, I'm stop posting promo. You know, I never start. Money. I never started it. Why? Uh, shout out to my boy Ray Daniels. Uh, when I met him, he just said like, don't don't water your brand down for like chasing other people shit down. So, really do shit for you and. Believe in yourself and the money gonna come. So what you trying to do about me? I mean, shit. I mean, you get it how you live. <laughs> I mean, I ain't saying I post no, I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm just saying, like, that's just, it works for me. Because I if Instagram shut down today, I'm gonna live, so. You think you better than me? Uh, No, nah, you got a vagina. I ain't never better than nobody okay. with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> fat cat, what they call her. Yeah, it is fat. <laughs> okay, yes, body too. You know what's going. Cool. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm bitch. saying body, body. Boy, you something else. Um, we're gonna go on the dark side of my DM, okay? Mm -hmm. And I want you to give this person advice because you are a man of the people. Okay. You love the people, don't you? Yeah, you broke your nail. Thank you, Marco. Thanks All for right. highlighting that. All right. Thanks. <laughs> um, here we go. Wait a minute. Next time we just screenshot. Here, I, I did screenshot it, nigga. I had to go through it. I still had it. I had more than one. See, because you play so case, much. Put a case I on I didn't your know how too. your vibe was going to be. I heard, I heard, too, if somebody ain't got no case on their phone, they don't like protection when it comes to sex. Well, I wouldn't know that because I have a case on my phone. You don't. Fuck you, Marco. Yeah, she having some technical dick. Just wait with us. They know. They patient. They They'll love me. in the chat. They love me. You know, I went viral the other day. For saying that I would fuck a bottom, not a top. No, I would fuck a top, not a bottom. What's that? Well, a top is in a gay male relationship. The mm -hmm. top is the one that gives the dick in the ass. And the bottom is the one that takes the dick in the ass. So what I said was, because I've also said that I feel like out of 10 men, or like right now it's like 15 men in here, at least four of them have taken dick. You know what I mean? Secretly. Or like gave somebody a hand job. That's what I believe personally in my heart. So if you do those odds, then that means I probably had sex with a gay man. So what I said was if I did have sex with a secret gay man, I would rather fuck a top than a bottom. Shout out to Patrick Mahomes. The Chiefs going to probably go to the Super Bowl. Oh, you don't want to talk about that, do you? I mean, no, that's with y'all fan base. I stay, I, I got a thing of opening doors, and that's a door I don't want to open. Why? Because there's not a door I need to be in. 
I'm on my business. You don't have to be in the door to to, to open the uh, the is. damn thing. It is. Okay. That's a door you can open. I just I don't want to be in the room. I be in rooms I want to be in. Now you talking about some pussy? We can open that door. Okay. Yeah. And he got serious about that shit. All right. Yeah. You're supposed to you get that door. What? Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. I love your show and I love you. Don't be mad at me. I'm a hair person and your part is not right ever. Um, I want to know. I want you to know because I have OCD and I love you and I want you looking tight. Also, when you were talking about NLE Chopper's girl and you said you would have fucked his friend, you should have seen Phelps' face. Girl, his nostrils flared and he was stuttering all his words. That shit was funny. Go look at it, please. Oh, and one more thing. I really love this podcast. I can't stop watching it. I'm mentally telling myself, don't look at Mona's part right now just to watch. <laughs> look at your camera right there. You hear me? Well, I normally don't say the names, but Jazzy23, fuck you and fuck your part and fuck who does your hair, and girl. And I have OCD and I hate your part too, bitch. Woo, let's go to the voicemail. So we also have a phone number and we let the viewers and stuff call in because we show love to hey, our Jazzy. fans. <laughs> We have, we show love to our fans. We're very loving towards our yeah, fans. Why you just do that to Jazzy? The people built me. She wanted it. She asked for it. They know me. Um, <laughs> the people built me up. You know what I mean. So I always try to give back to the people, and I stay very connected to my fan base. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. You ready for the voicemail? Yeah. Okay. That's fucked up about Jazzy. Fuck Jazzy. Hey Mona, I love your show. I love your personality and everything. Um, my question is basically, me and my boyfriend, we've been dealing with each other since 2019, been on and off. Uh, we was doing really good. We were going strong for nine months. And then on National Girlfriend Day, some ugly ass bitch hit me up and she was like, oh yeah, she wanted to know your nigga cheating on you or whatever. Um, and, you know, that man was sick when Isn't I it? found out he was having That's his mama problem. call me. Oh, a lot. Sorry. First off, before we go any further, there's no such thing as National Girlfriend's Day. Stop falling for all that stupid shit you see on TikTok. That's why your boyfriend don't like you because every fake ass holiday, y'all gotta celebrate it. And it's not even real. National Girlfriend Day, bitch, is called your anniversary after he marries you. Right, Dre? He doesn't love you, whore. Uh, it's, it's not over. Okay, we already heard that. Hold on. Um, and you know that man was sick when I found out he was having his mama call me. He he sent me a band because he was so sorry. He stayed, you know, sending me gifts and stuff. And like I could tell he's sorry. Like that man was literally crying to the point I had to check up on him because you know I was scared. <laughs> but all the time. My question mm -hmm. is basically: Did I do I take him <laughs> back? Like I love him, you know this is going to be the father of my children like we have so many plans and everything together and That's i just boy. don't know what to do and the big good too girl like the big and the head too it's just it's just hard these streets is crazy right now so i don't know what to do mona you need to you need to help your girl out do i go back to the streets or do i make him wait for it but stay comfortable thanks bye love you <laughs> Do you want me to answer first? Yeah, you go first. Okay. First I of all, if a man gives you $1,000 in gifts, mm -hmm. okay, to apologize for cheating, mm -hmm. you take him back. Duh. <laughs> That's first off. Second off, <laughs> um, use a condom because he's a cheater. Duh. Third of all, if he calls you and he's like, I swear, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump. He's not really suicidal. He's sitting with his friends and they're all like planning it. It's all fake. Usually I respond with jump then, nigga, jump. You know what I mean? Just to see like, you really love me, nigga, jump. Then the news come on, then what? It's not real. I'm they're not really it suicidal. Happen, if it was to happen, would you feel bad? Like if somebody called me, he's like, I'm about to kill myself. You don't call me, back, I'm kill myself. Yeah. And I'm like, jump. And then I see the nigga jump on TV. Yeah. Clearly it's his problem getting raised. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Your mom and your dad did that too. There's no way a girl could tell you jump and you really jump. He had other issues. Who do you think? Who do you tell her? Go back, go to the streets. She should go back to him. 
Go back to him because of the thousand dollars and the gifts. Not because of that. I mean, it's, if we had a little bit more detail, but sometimes you can't just quit on your people. You feel me? Like she go, like she gonna go through the same shit regardless. So if on National Boyfriend Day, some guy calls you and he sends you a picture of your girlfriend sucking his dick. Mm. And he's like, your girlfriend lick my balls every Wednesday, nigga, fuck you. Mm. And then she say sorry and she send you a bunch of shit and a thousand dollar cash. Have you take this bitch back? Fuck no. Y'all cry when y'all find us put hard eyes on niggas' pictures. Because not talking about the when she was sucking his dick, I'm out getting some pussy. So that's what happens. You only get cheated on when you out doing bad shit. STDs. Okay, the final part of this podcast is very important. It's manifestation hour. Okay. Mm-hmm. What yes, do you, so overall, don't cheat. What are you manifesting for the rest of the year for next year? Like what do you what are you putting out into the world that mm-hmm. you want to come back to you? Other than me. Mm, nice lace fronts for the ladies. You so shady. What? That's petty. The nigga that did his lace front is in his room. I didn't say nothing about see. And are he's you taller than you? Why? I'm just saying, we from the East Coast, we will fuck you la- up. I said ladies. I didn't say this ain't. Whatever. What do no, you I actually don't care for lace fronts, honestly. What do you like, real hair? No, I really want you to be comfortable with you and just know you can do that in that. I'll take this wig off right now. I know you will. Yeah, so what the fuck? That's all that matters. Why do y'all think that just because we wear hair, we're not comfortable with how Let we are? Let me say y'all, because some people are like experienced, like some girls don't feel comfortable without that. But yeah. you do, so we're not talking about you. We're not. Yeah. Right. So be comfortable with yourself. So if your girlfriend hair length was your length and she came out with twisties like yours, you would be okay with that? Uh, yeah, I would. So you would sit next to this bitch with the same size twisties as you and y'all just going around, y'all going to STK like that? You're uh, lying. Okay, now you, you want that bitch to get a lace SDK. front. We, we looking like this, we're going to Popeye's. Exactly. Right, not STK. Boom, there we have the truth. But I'm just saying exactly, but and then if I if anything a man complaining about, he should be able to fix it. So if I'm complaining about something, I'm going to get help you get it fixed. Oh, you're going to get the bitch a lace front. Not that. I'm glad you brought that up. You trick daddy. You cut a check. If it's if it's necessary. All right. <laughs> hey, open my DM, nigga. What are you manifesting for the rest of the year or for next year or whatever? Mm-hmm. Say just more positivity for the real. Less death. That's bullshit. What about what you no, want I'm for yourself? Like, I'm I'm Riches, myself. money, movies, big deals. I say really just pushing my FM entertainment. Okay. Um. And just Ownership, giving, giving uh, people opportunity to change their life. Cause like I said, it won't. Like I remember where I was at, people overlooked me. So when it's people that actually up and coming, like they matter. That's why I look up. To Nick Cannon is dope because he get people opportunities. And you know, now you wait to the end to say dope shit to say yeah. good shit. Nick Cannon is dope. He give people he opportunities. Dope. I think I that's look up cool. to him. I'm telling you, I look up to Nick Cannon. Okay. Yeah. Like you would have ten baby moms too. I mean, if you can, if you can have them, God gave them to you for a reason. Okay. They gonna do something to this world. What if that's ten doctors? We need that. Do you eat ass? Depends on what day. That's what I'm talking about. What's today? I really eat ass, day if you ask me. I'm only in town <laughs> till tomorrow. You know what I mean? That's crazy. One you got night no limits. Only I'm from out of town. She boy. got no filter on this show. What? You know you where don't. we started at? Yeah, but you still ain't gonna change. Hard eye, hard eye emoji. Join my live at two. You be doing that dark night lives? What? You doing dark night lives? Pull my titties out. You know now you can charge people to come on your live one by one. Yeah. How would you know? How would you know? (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much, Marco, for joining. Okay. Oh, favorite. That's why you here, boy. Who's your favorite? We're gonna end out with this. Mm -hmm. Who is your favorite female social media influencer slash comedian single mom from the East Coast? Mm -hmm. Light skin. Yes. <laughs> Light skinned, great actor, very popular. Ooh. Tiffany Haddish. Fuck you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Nah, I do like, I really want you to start doing Cut stand- it. Fuck no, em. no, 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 don't cut it. I really want you to start doing stand up. Like, I really. I do stand up on Friday, nigga. No, like stand up. Who knows like, when this airs? Last Friday, month ago, nah, this month, nah, I'm tomorrow. Saying like Atlanta whatever. Comedy, the, like club. I, I have to you- do, you want me to do stand up in Atlanta? Yeah. Set the show up, nigga. You do it. Let's get it. I do stand up, boy. Let's go, Kansas City. What's up? I know a lot of people over there. Dorothy. No, I want you to do stand up because I I love to watch that. I do stand up. No, you sit down. Thanks for coming, Marco. This has been a ball. Appreciate y'all. I'll catch you guys next week. Thanks for joining.
That's how you end it. That's my new way of ending with the two thumbs like this. And then you be like, cut the cameras off. You sick of this bullshit? No, I don't. Ow. I just say thank you. Woo woo. That's my thing. Do it with me. Woo woo. Two two. Do your shoulders. <laughs> Do your shoulders. Yep. There you go. You look a little bit like Uzi. Thank you. <laughs>